Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Toy Candy. This time I'm taking you through every single Big Ideas release ever from Mimiji. Hello everybody and Happy New Year. It's 2021 and this is my first video of the new year. Um, I want to say a little thank you before I start for all of the support that I've had in 2020. Uh, it's only The channel's only been going two months and I've had a really great response. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, those of you who've watched uh, some of my videos so far will know that Mamiji is my favourite uh, designer toy of all. Uh, that's what started my collecting journey, if you like. Um, and every year, Mamiji release a larger than normal doll, um, sort of the larger size that they do in the form of a range called Big Ideas. And they've been doing that since 2014. Um, they're my absolute favourite Mamiji release. I absolutely adore big toys. Um, so I thought I'd do a video of all of the Big Ideas releases because people seem to really enjoy seeing them. So uh, let's not waste any time. Let's kick off with the very first release from 2014, Emmeline. So I'm all ready with the very first uh, box of the 2014 Big Ideas release, uh, Emmeline. Um, and this one, as you can see, is a kind of noodle style box, um, which was um, the sort of style of box that Mamiji did for quite a long time with some of their smaller dolls. Um, as you'll see, the boxes that they use for Big Ideas now are kind of just uh, sort of rectangular and a bit bigger than this. Um, but I've got her here, right behind the box, hiding away. So as you can see, this print matches her really nicely and actually really matches my jumper, which says POW, because um, she's a bit of a superhero theme. I love this jumper, by the way. Um, I'll put a link uh, to where you can get my jumper from in the video because I love these jumpers. Okay, um, so anyway, back to big ideas. Um, so this is Emmeline. She is a superhero style doll um, and she comes with this little card. So all of the big ideas dolls come with these little um sort of little collector's cards really um, and it tells you how many were made it's got a little sort of message on so this one says live boldly uh, big ideas by Mamiji Emmeline uh, believe in the truth about you live boldly for your story is brilliant brave and mighty and there were only 500 uh, hand numbered pieces of these made so all big ideas dolls are hand numbered and if you look at the bottom you can see that she's got her little message slot and she's got a special uh, message paper in there uh, that I won't get out but it's uh it's yellow rather than the normal white ones. Um, and she says, Emily, Big Ideas 2014. And she's number 148 out of 500. And she's got a little year stamp, uh, 14 there. Um, I love this design. I think she was called Emmeline, obviously uh, named after Emmeline Pankhurst. Um, for basically, she's meant to signify living boldly and standing up for what you believe in. And she's a bit of a, a bit of a, um, superhero uh vibe um this one is actually signed um i got these signed um at a mamiji meet that they had uh last no not last year now sorry so it would have been 2018 is that right no 2019 sorry um in london um, and i got to meet the designer well the, the team the only sort of team of uh well three uh, the founder, Claire uh, Cameron, who sort of runs all the admin side of things and co-founded the company. Um, and uh, Helena, who's the main Mamiji designer. She de designs all of the uh, big idea designs. There are other designers involved with Mamiji too, such as uh, Luli Bunny um, and some guest designers. Uh, but Helena... Um, Lala friends on um, Instagram if you want to give her a follow I highly recommend it um, she uh, signed all of my big ideas dolls for me that had come out so far so the box is signed there and then Claire wrote this lovely message on the back for me here um, I asked her to write something sort of inspiring for me I put her on the spot a little bit bless her um, because for me I think Emmeline is the most sort of I don't know, just the most sort of powerful Mamiji design. So she wrote Big Brave Mamiji Dreams with Love. And then Helen has designed her on the cape here as well. So I just really love the colour scheme. It's really bold. She's really cool. Um, and yes, yeah, so she came with her little cards. Um, and she also, this release came with a poster. I'll show you the poster. Um, it's not in perfect condition. I did actually buy this one secondhand because I only started collecting in 2018. Um, my big bold plan. So you can use it to write your big bold plans on. Things that make my heart happy. Things I'm scared of but don't want to be scared of anymore, which I really like. A place for positivity and brave thoughts. I haven't actually used that because I don't like to write on... Uh, 
things. I don't mind the designers writing on the dolls, uh, but here's like a little poster. Um, just for the record, Mamiji, if you happen to see this video, I would love for you to do art prints because this is absolutely beautiful. And um, if I hadn't folded it up, I think it came folded up actually, um, I would love to have that framed. So yeah, she's the only one to come with a poster, but that's Emmeline, the first big ideas release. And I'm happy to say that there's been one every year ever since. So let's have a look at the next one. Okay, so to move on to 2015, we have Joy. Uh, Joy was um, the Big Ideas doll for the Mamiji 10th anniversary as well. Um, so she's got a little bit of a kind of Christmassy vibe to me. I'm not sure if that's intentional, um, but she looks really good with the Christmas doll, sort of like little drummer girl kind of vibe. She's got this cool... Um, little character guy on her head as well the little drums got a little face um, and as you can see on the bottom as normal this one's uh, number 41 out of 500 again um, and it says Mamiji 10th anniversary uh, year 2015 so the box has got lots of sort of number 10s um, and lots of sort of party music type things it's got drums got a guitar little music notes so she's kind of um, she's kind of representing music, I guess. What does it say on the back? Um, Mamiji was founded in 2005. Since then, the dolls have embarked upon expeditions around the world as joyful ambassadors in honour of many thousands of birthdays, engagements, births and other happy milestones. Joy is a celebration of a decade of all these memories and good times. Thank you for being part of our 10-year party. Spread the love. Spread the love is the little Mamiji um, sort of... Uh, slogan um so there she is that's joy and she comes with her little card which says celebrate so she's all about celebration basically the drum beat of joy marching for you and us celebrate then and now dancing onwards with happy hearts so they all represent really positive and nice things and again yeah 500 pieces um so yeah she's just really different this one and she does fit in nicely with the with Christmas dolls. She's got kind of that red uh, colour going on. And she's probably one of the only kind of music themed Mamijis. And I really like kind of anything that celebrates the arts and stuff like that. So she's super cool. Um, I only, uh, quite hard to get hold of now, um, especially intact because her little drumsticks are very delicate. Um, but she's absolutely joyful and uh, I really love her. So moving on to 2016, here we have Big Starlight Girl. She's just called Starlight Girl, but I always call her Big Starlight Girl because after her has come Little Starlight Girl, who is a smaller version. Um, you can probably see behind my head, there is a big gap missing because she's always sort of front stage centre in my display. She's everything I love. She's a unicorn. She's bright pink. She's colourful. Love her. So um, again, there were 500 of these in 2016 very very hard to get hold of now because she is so popular this is probably the most expensive big ideas doll now if you were to try and get one second hand um i know that won't be great news for many <laughs> but yeah she goes at quite a high price because there were only 500 of her made and uh she is fantastic so yeah you as usual on the bottom she's got a pink uh note slip uh, Starlight Girl, Big Ideas 2016, and she's number 327. Um, and it says on the box, permission to dream, live a magical life because your sparkle is special. And she likes earmuffs and ginger beer. So yeah, the um, Mamijis always have a couple of things that they like um, on the box as well. Uh, just to show you inside, I uh, don't really need to, but the uh, lip, just in case you're curious, this is all polystyrene moulded. So she's got a nice... Uh, sort of cushioned space where she goes in the middle there that's moulded to her um, and this is the little card that came with her so I had to get her second hand because as I say she came out in 2016 I only started collecting in 2018 and um, the card is unfortunately a little bit um, sort of folded up but it's fine um, and yeah it says the same thing on there as it does on the box permission to dream she's just divine um, and yeah she's uh, come out in many other forms since different colorways um, in the small size so there's um, one that's just called little starlight girl from the same year but she's white with this uh, coloring on her fringe um, there's been a Halloween version since called little twilight girl there's also been a disco version in silver and there's been a multicolored kind of pastel version um called cotton candy is she called cotton candy yeah um but she's gorgeous she's definitely one of my absolute favorites in my whole collection um but my actual favorite big ideas doll is the one that came next let's have a look at wonder who's everyone's favorite 
here she is. 2017 brought us wonder. Look at her. She's my favourite ever. This is my favourite Momiji doll of all. And it's very hard to pick a favourite because there's so many amazing designs, but she was actually the first one that I bought and um, she came out the end of 2017 and I was too late to get her from Mamichi directly. I ended up paying a lot of money for her. She still fetches a lot of money now. Um, not quite as much as Starlight Girl, but there were, I think, 750 of her made in 2017. Um, and she sold out super quickly because everyone just absolutely loved this design. She's got so much. She's got all these different colors she's got the planet detail at the back she's got the sun she's holding the earth which is just super super cute and she was also the first um big ideas doll to come with uh, little friends so she's got uh moon who is this one the moon uh moon zoom and hopper i think i feel like that's zoom and that's hopper moon zoom hopper yeah um, and it says, lift your eyes to the skies for galaxies of goodness and infinite, infinite ideas. Feel your stardust sparkle. We like peace and planetary nebula. Um, she's the fourth big ideas doll. It says on the box as well. And just look at all these amazing colors on the box. Again, I got this one signed, um, by Helena. Um, and she is number 161 of 750. There's her little card. I just love everything about this. I love the colours. I love the space theme. I love space toys. I have quite a collection of space themed toys. It's just a theme that I like. Um, and I just think she's so fun and so detailed. And um, she is a favourite of many. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, I think the, the, big, the big ideas at this point sort of started to represent a bit more of an abstract concept um so like wonder and then you'll see the the following ones have a bit more of a kind of theme to them maybe um but she is fantastic and highly sought after so i think you would pay a little bit more for a uh, starlight girl just because of her rarity um but wonder certainly goes for a pretty penny nowadays as well um and uh, she is she's just great Moving on to 2018, um, I've just realised that I had some polystyrene in my hair throughout that last one, so sorry about that. Um, this is Together, and she is so original, so different. Um, she came out about uh, a few months after I'd started collecting. She was kind of the first big ideas release that I was there collecting for, and I was so excited by her. She's got kind of a Beauty and the Beast theme sort of vibe. Sorry, by the way, if you can hear a dog snoring in the background i have to allow him to be here he as long as he's not barking we'll, we'll let him off um so yes this one is uh, also signed by helena it's got this gorgeous light pink and gold uh, theme um and it says life is sweeter when we're together pull up a chair we've set the table for happiness we like experimental salads and bonsecchi and i don't know what bonsecchi is um so it says together's our fifth big ideas release the crew are a celebration of friendship and collaboration wonderful things happen when we co-create tea time can be radical um so this is uh i mean she colloquially just gets called together but her name is millicent uh we've got Stan, who's the little croissant dog. We've got Gary. <laughs> Just love that he's called Gary. Uh, a little carton of milk cat. Um, and Rini is the little teapot. And they are just so sweet. And look at this. Look at her head. She's got these... Um, possibly marshmallows, possibly sugar cubes, depending on which you want. Um, so I just love that detail um, in her cup. Um, she has got a little tea bag, though. So that would suggest that they're sugar and not, uh, not marshmallows and hot chocolate. But, you know... Uh, go with what you like um so yeah she's just really different she's so girly she's so kind of she's a bit lolita -li -li in her little dress and i just love these pastels with the gold detail um i was so excited when she came out so i love her as well I just love the big ideas dolls because i think some of the detail in them are sort of harder to pull off in a in a smaller doll um so to me this is just uh this is just something really different and fun um, and that's together. I forgot the card. Here's the little card uh, that goes with her. So there's no, we're up to 900 now. So we said the first three we had 
500 released. Wanda went up to 750. She was so popular that with this one, we went up to 900. Um, Life is sweeter when we're together. Pull up a chair. We've set the table for happiness. I think that might be what it said before. Can't remember. Um, And this is number 85 out of 900, December 2018. So normally these get released around October. Um, Every year they've sort of come out that I'm aware of come around around October. Sometimes they haven't. uh, They've been kind of back order. um, And you actually only get them sort of December, January. Um, This year it was the first time that there was a bit of an exception to that. Um, I'll tell you about that when we get to it. Uh, But yeah, um, I'll move on now to uh, 2019. Right, we're getting there. This is 2019 and this is play. And this is just something really, really fun um, and colourful and happy. Um, well, all Mamoudi dolls are those things pretty much. But um, as you can see, they're kind of a little monster set. Um, I love that they're just so happy and playful. Um, you know, play speaks for itself. Now, there's not a lot actually written on the box of this. Um, they haven't got the names on, but I can tell you that this big one here is named Juno. Uh, we've got Spud, the little purple one, Tilda, the little yellow one, and Ramona, who's this little spotty one, who looks lovely with a couple of my other little monster Mamijis. Um, I had to look that up because they're not on the box. Um, but here they all are on their little card. So now we've shot up to 1,100 pieces of these. Um, just, you know, big ideas getting more and more popular all the time. Uh, this one's dated October 2019. And I've got a bit of good news for you now which is possibly to do to do with these um, quantities that were made, you can still buy this set. Um, despite being from 2019, it's still available on Mamiji's website. Um, in the UK, I haven't checked um, in the other hubs abroad, but I would imagine still available in all of the hubs. Um, all of the big idea dolls from this one onwards, you can still buy um, at the time of recording. So um, if you want them, get your hands on them. I don't know how many are left. Um, but yes, this one probably arguably wasn't as popular um, as uh, some of the earlier dolls, but she's really pretty. She's got some great, um, some great imaginative sort of style and some colours. And I think she's really fun. And I like her little sidekicks as well. Um, and then you can see on the bottom, she's number uh, 66, I think that is. Yeah, 66. Not it's hard to tell sometimes when they're upside down, but it tells me on the card. Um, that's play. Um, now, the next one that I'm going to show you um, isn't officially a big ideas doll, but she is the same size. So I felt like it was only right to include her. So let me show you Big Birthday. Here she is. This is Big Birthday. Uh, her name is Beatrice. And this little guy here, who's not so little for a sidekick, he's practically a full Mamiji size, is called Bruno. Um, these, as I say, are not an official um, Big Ideas doll, but they are the Big Ideas size. They were a special extra release for Mamiji's 15th birthday. Uh, as Nia said, this year, last year now, uh, 2020. Um, and they come with their little card as all of them do um big birthday 15th anniversary edition 850 pieces of these made um still available in the mamiji hub if you want them uh, gorgeous pastel designs on the box very birthday -y. Uh, birthday cake sprinkles animal cuteness the little heart i love this little heart symbol on some of the dolls and her hair really reminds me of jelly um or jello, as you say in America. I don't know if it's meant to, but it really just gives me that kind of cake and ice cream kind of vibe. Um, and a little candle on her head. And Bruno's got his little cherry on the top. They're just such a cute little pair. And um, yeah, it just felt wrong to not include them, even though officially they're not Big Ideas dolls. They are, uh, to me, they're kind of part of, the, part of the same range. So that's Beatrice and Bruno. Big birthday, 15 years of Mamiji. And last but not least, we have this year's, uh, no, keep having to correct myself, last year's 2020's Big Ideas release, who I haven't yet opened. So um, join me as I open that. I'm very excited. So here is the 2020 release. I have just cut this uh, cardboard box open, but I haven't taken her out yet. I wanted to um, unbox her with you guys. So let's have a look. Remove the foam. This box is fantastic. This is, oops, so excited. This is Create. Uh, I love this concept for a doll. So this concept has been done in the form of a few smaller dolls before. We've had little paint tubes um, in the smaller size, the sort of standard Mamiji size. But when I kind of 
saw this, I just immediately fell in love because I love anything colorful. I love colorful concepts. I love anything to do with art and design. So this is create. And she says on the back, paint your future. It's yours to create. We like decoupage and squeezy cheese. And we're down to 600 of these. So you can still get them. If you want one of these, please be quick um, because I'm amazed that they're still in stock. So yeah, this arrived with me on Christmas Eve. But um, as I say, I decided to... Um, keeper for an unboxing because there's so much to unbox at Christmas time anyway it's been um, hard not to open her until now but um, here she is and here's a little card oh wow her card's like a bit more a bit thicker than the other ones kind of um, so she's number 155 of 600 and um, so we've moved away this year from uh, the sidekick thing instead we've got pins which I think is a really cool uh, different thing like getting anything extra from the actual doll is always a bonus anyway so and the pins are so cute um, and they've even got their own names so um, it says on the back these girls and guys are a reminder to nurture your inner creativity your life is a canvas to decorate and adorn in your own unique way collect remix reinvent and let the future flow let's get her out so her name is Paige Oh, I can already see that she's going to be. So just to give you an idea of the foam, she's kind of packed in here. And I think the little slot at the bottom, let's let's get the pins out first, shall we? Well, they're in their own little slot at the bottom. That's mega cool. So the only way to get these pins is with the doll. Um, so you get a pin of, uh, I love it, Paige, uh, who's the doll. It says, keep on creating. You get Indy, who's a little, uh, I think, Crayola or possibly a pen. Um, and Chroma, who's like a little um, colour wheel sort of thing. Um, they're really sweet. I love the Mamiji pens. They've just started releasing these. Um, so they're just a fantastic little set. And I love that as a little added extra. Such a bonus to get anything extra with the Big Ideas dolls. Um, and let's take her out very carefully. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. She's in paper, which I'm going to try and keep in pack as best I can. Oh my goodness. I love her. Wow, she's got like a pearlescent kind of. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, she's like her. The words on the bottom are really big on this one. So, create big ideas 2020, 2020 Mamiji. And she's also got, she's sort of got little sidekicks, but kind of attached to her, which is nice because I don't always have lots of room to put lots of little sidekicks everywhere. So she's got her paintbrush and she's got her palette. So I think, yeah, I think it might have been a bit overkill for her to have had sidekicks as well as this. So I love the idea of the pins. I love her hair. Can I just say, I love these colors and she will look amazing with the little paint toys. So there's a pink a mint, a purple, and a yellow of the little ones, the little paints, so they can be sidekicks for her as well. And as I say, she's got this kind of really nice sheen on her beret. Um, her hair just splits pink and blue at the back like this. And oh, I'm just just seeing her in person. Like they're always just they're always even better than I think they're going to be when I see them in person. And I love this splattery sort of Jackson Pollock thing going on on the box. And um, this sort of new font that Mamiji are putting on all their boxes, the limited editions as well, have got this new font, which is really, really cool. So there's Create, there's Paige. Her name is, is Paige. And she is still available on the Mamiji website. Um, the 600, I'm amazed she hasn't gone yet. If you want one, please act fast. So there they all are in order from 2014 all the way up to 2020 with the addition of the extra uh, 15th anniversary doll here who uh, just felt weird to not include her. Um, they're amazing. They're my favourite Mamiji release of the year. I look forward to them so much. Um, so it's just nice to show you them all together and it was really nice to unbox uh, Create for you as well. Um, so as I say, you can still get these three guys in the shop. Uh, you might have a bit more trouble tracking down this, this side. Um, but they uh yeah if you, especially if you want uh create be very quick um so i hope you enjoyed this video um i've got more mamiji videos uh from from the past <laughs> if you want to go and check those out uh, there's a nice guide there to mamiji collecting if you're particularly new to this um please leave me comments below let me know who your favorite is um or if you've got any other favorite uh, mamiji releases um that you particularly look forward to and um i'll see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching <laughs>